Before we are going deeper into this video, let me and my fellow friends introduce ourselves. Okay, let's start our video presentation. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today, my group will present about related traits. First of all, what is related traits? It is a procedure to find an equation that relates two different quantities and apply it generally to differentiate both sides with respect to the time. Okay, next I will explain to you guys about objectives of the related traits. There are three objectives of the related traits. First, to use knowledge of derivatives to solve related traits problems. Second, to find the rate of change of one quantity knowing the rate of change of another quantity. Last but not least, to find the rate of change of two or more related variables that are changing with respect to the time. To understand more about related traits, Let's see this situation. Assalamualaikum. I need some food here. We will eat later, okay? But I'm going to take a shower first. Alright. Maybe I will take a shower later. Wait. There's a leak there. One minute, 37 seconds later. Wow. So much water. I should go a plumber for this. Oh uh, yeah, is this plumber? Yeah, there's a leak in my house. Could you come over? Yeah, yeah. I will send the location by WhatsApp. Yeah. What? 30 minutes? Oh, alright, alright. I'll be waiting. Alright, 30 minutes. 30 minutes left, huh? I wonder how much the water will last in 30 minutes. Hmm. Water tank in Firas house is cylindrical. It has a diameter of 10 meters and its height is 5 meters. Now, with this information, we can apply related rates to solve this problem. 
Wait, Hazik. Before you forgot, we also need one more information which is the most important on finding related rates. We need to know what is the height of the water after 30 minutes of leaking. The height of the water in the tank after 30 minutes is 2.5 meters. Now, we have all the information that we need. Let's proceed on our calculation. For calculation, the thing that we want to find is how much water that have decreased in 30 minutes, which is the change in volume of water in 1 minute's time with 30 minutes. First thing that we must do is find the derivative of cylinder formula. The formula of cylinder is pi time with radius to the power of 2 time with height. Replace radius with 5 because the 10 radius is 5 meters. After that, differentiate the volume and we will get dv over dh equal to 25 pi. Find the rate of water heights decreases in a minute which is dh over dt. dh over dt is equal to the original height of the water which is 4 meters minus with water heights after 30 minutes which is 2.5 meters divided with 30 minutes. And we will get dh over dt equals to 0 0.05 meters per minute. Next, find the change on volume of water in 1 minute, which is dv over dt. dv over dt is equals to dv over dh time with dh over dt. The value of dv dh is 25 pi and the value of dh over dt is 0 0.05 meters per minute. And after we time both of this value, we will get the value of dv over dt which is 3.9 to 7 meter cube per minute. Next, find the total water loss after 30 minutes. Take the change of volume that we just get, which is 3.927, and times it with 30. We will get 117.81 meter cube. In conclusion, by using related rates, we can find how fast the volume of water change. By using that value, we can next find the total volume of water in the tank that has lost after 30 minutes. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is beneficial for you guys. Boy. Hey, thank you for watching to the end. I hope you guys can enjoy the video and learn something new today. See you soon.